This is Keith Bradshaw for the New York Times in Tacloban, the Philippines. The city of Tacloban in the East Central Philippines has been devastated by wind and water, the result of one of the most powerful typhoons ever recorded in the Pacific. Driven by sustained winds of more than 140 miles an hour, the ocean rose almost like a tsunami, so that within minutes, homes hundreds of yards inland had their ground floors submerged in seawater, and water swirled waist deep through the second floors for those houses that had second floors at all. Many died not just in single-story homes, but in churches, schools, a sports stadium, and other buildings that had been chosen as wind-resistant evacuation centers, but proved to be death traps when they began filling with water. Uncovered bodies still lie along the roads here, and the roads themselves are hard to recognize because they are so clogged with debris. Relief efforts are slow and halting, with even the Filipino soldiers complaining of limited supplies of fresh water. Food is scarce, and residents complain that the smell of rotting human flesh is so severe in some areas that they cannot bring themselves to eat meals in their own homes. Widespread looting over the weekend has made matters worse. People are showing up at the airport begging for food, water, and scarce seats aboard flights out of the shattered city. It does not help that there are virtually no lights at night in the entire city, as even backyard generators were flooded. Improvements may be slow. That said, the Philippines is trying, with American help and assistance from nonprofits, to fly in more aid, a slow and costly alternative to bringing in supplies by road.